hip hop, hip hop, yeah. hip hop, hip hop, bars is back, hip hop, Sam hip and hop, oh god. Hip. Pop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Oh God, driving Sam and riding passenger side, and you heard it out the mouth of the greatest rapper. Okay. Started, ooh, play that again. Running back, running back. Uh, and he started rolling up. That's when I knew he was locked in. He started rolling up a backwood. You know what I'm saying? By the time he lit that motherfucker was smoking that shit, he was like, mm, "We popping, we pop." Oh, oh, I got it, man. Hey, Give me in a booth, man. Tell the engineer Harry to fuck up, man. Give me in a booth. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like he, you know what I mean? He, he, you know, he might push your buttons, but shit, nigga, capture the moment, nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? As an engineer, as 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 the studio and all this shit, people supposed to be on there. So, bam. You know what I'm saying? And shit, that was like the first song I ever made at the studio. We had just built House of Hits. You know what I mean? That's like the first motherfucking smash. I that's the first song I ever made in in in, in the studio I had just built. Okay. You know what I'm saying? What's and he that? wrote Birdman verse and shit. He was like, Bird, I, yeah, you, you, what, what you want me to do? You know, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He was like, shit, bam. Bird, like, shit, I'm going to follow you. I'm going I'm to I'm follow you, young. And it's crazy, both of them niggas in the same room. This shit is epic, my nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? And they all kind of trusting me. You know what I'm saying? And Bird knows us so, up. Like, we got, our, we got our first number one with, with Money to Blow. You know what I'm saying? So so he knows us so, up. Like, like that's, that's family. You know what I mean? I put one on the board with him already. So to be able to put another one on the board with him, and he he just love NBA young boy. He's just like, man, anything I can do to help this young nigga, he pulled me aside. Like, anything I can do to help this young nigga, I'm gonna do it. Man. Like, he shot that video. He put that month, that budget up. He, you know what I'm saying? That song might not even made the label if it weren't for Bird. Like, Bird do so much for the community and for the people, bro. I have to get that nigga his flowers while he here, man. Cause Bird, man, niggas talk about he don't get they don't get their publishing and shit from Bird and this and that. Man, I get mine. Yeah. My, my lawyer straight. My business straight. Nigga, handle your business better, nigga. Niggas mm. want to shit on niggas when they but when they should shit on themselves for, for for bad business. You need to handle your business better. You know, I appreciate you saying that because he gets such a bad rap out here. If you look at the comments, a little stupid shit, you would think that man. he's doing people man. so wrong or man. he's a devil with shit like that. You won't hear that kind of stuff. That's dope. That's crazy, man, because I get all my publishing from uh, Money to Blow. And of course, I get my publishing from We Popping. You know what I'm saying? That's that's on the label. But, man, Money to Blow is Birdman's song. You know what I mean? As mm. soon as he called me, he said, man, it's been on the internet for a while, but I'm going to throw Wayne and I'm going to put a verse on it. Money to Blow was sitting on the internet for a, a year. Whoever, the, so one of the engineers at Hot Beats at the time had leaked the music. Like, you know, a lot of engineers, they'll leak music, get paid, or they'll put it on their YouTube channel just so it could run their subscribers up and their music up and shit like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you got access to certain pro tools and that shit just been sitting in the system for a while, they'll end up leaking that shit. Yeah, that's what usually do the engineers. Is that, that is that your biggest one ever? Money to blow? No, nah, I mean no hands. Money to blow. Look at my dad. Like, which which record is the biggest? Yeah. you know what I'm saying. I put on for my city. Like, that's what's up. You know what I mean? Here, here I am, Rick Ross. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> Like, shit. That's just crazy. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. My bad. Go ahead. No, nah, I don't even keep up with this shit. Like, I just make music and have fun with what I'm doing and have fun with life. Like, again, we fresh off the lake. You know what I'm saying? We finna goddamn pull up at uh, this restaurant, get some drinks, get some food, and just, man, keep having fun, man. Enjoy life. You living, you making money. You yeah, successful. Man. Nigga independent. Talk about it. No boss. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I mean? Like, it, it feel good. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, shit. yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Um, we can keep you too much longer, man. Let you, you know, do your thing. Um, yeah, ready for whatever, man. I got, I got to ask you about that, that uh, song right there. How did that come together? That's one of my favorite Ti songs, yeah. of Tom. But um, how did that come together? That beat. You said which record? Ready for whatever. Oh yeah, ready for whatever was the first record we did when Tip got out. So I got approved to to get on his visitation list because he had just got out of jail. So you had to get like visitation rights and all this shit. So I got approved, blah, say, blah, long story short, pull up at his crib. And I'm like, shit, damn, what's good, nigga? Da, da, da. He like, what up, King? 
Man, mm-hmm. I had to look back to my left, look back to my right. Like, you talking <laughs> to me, man? Like, like, what the fuck going on? Like, you know what I'm saying? And he was just so hyped. Like, I had just did the I'm going to do me for Rocco. We did it tomorrow. Like, when I first started, like, asking about Rocco, everybody was like, man, he executive. He rap. He executive. He rap. Damn. Da, 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 man, I don't know, man. Everybody was like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. So I was like, I gave, made me more mysterious, you know what I'm saying, about the nigga. I was like, shit, let's work. Let's just do some shit. You know what I'm saying? The first song we did was well, I'ma do me. That shit took off. You know what I'm saying? And man, from there, like a whole album came in out, out that situation. Like with like, yeah, Rocco signed a whole deal for 1.5 million. You know what I'm saying? Like shit, that shit was a whole way. So Tilt was congratulating me over there, like, yeah, man, you bless my boy, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what kings do. You know what I'm saying? We we we, we put people in in position, man. You know what I'm saying? And the first, like, he, I had, like, 30 beats. I played till 30 beats, bro. I swear to God, he picked out 27. Dang. And out of them 27 beats, like, the first song out of that batch was ready for whatever. And that particular song, he explained, he was, he, 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 he rapped that song, like, almost 16, 17 times. He had to change his lyrics, like, 17 times. The lawyers kept making him change his lyrics until it wasn't you know i guess conflicting with the case at the time mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so a certain shit that he couldn't say you know what i mean and they i, I remember man i was like damn they making him change that shit again they making him change that verse again like i couldn't believe this shit i was like god damn you no know, it's crazy so you never know. Well, yeah that's one thing it's, it's, it's like, you know what I'm saying? You're trying to tell your story. You're trying to protect your family and keep everybody in your family straight and safe. You know what I'm saying? And and and, and it got real. Like, that was that was right after Hurricane Katrina. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot of New Orleans folks, you know what I'm saying, coming through the city and this and that. Mm-hmm. You know, just disagreements, whatnot. You know what I mean? It, it got real out here for a minute. You know what I mean? And man, that that's that's the first song where he was man explaining to it. If you really listen to it now, you still get a good whiff of, you know what I mean, what's going on. Like I'm ready for whatever. Like bring this shit on, nigga. No doubt. Indeed, man. Well, like you said, I'm gonna hold you too much longer. I got one more question for you. You uh said something about engineers, and it was a real do you trust like engineers? You got a certain engineer that you fuck with solely, or you got you don't know what engineer you're dealing with, whatever other time you go into a session. Uh, I got certain engineers, but you definitely got to have some training and go to school. Like, I don't just talk, take that off a of whim or yeah. this or that. You know what I'm saying? It, it just it, it just make it more professional when you got somebody who done went to school and got that school knowledge. You know what I'm saying? When you're dealing with my computer, my files, and my shit, period. Yeah, for real. out, man. But, yeah, man, legendary Jerry Dumber Boy is in the building today. Yeah, Go ahead and drop your social media if you can uh, for the people and all that where they can find you. Yes, sir. Social media at Drummer Boy Fresh, man. Follow the Instagram uh, at Drummer Boy Fresh, Facebook, Twitter, Triller, TikTok. You know what I'm saying? All that, all social media platform, man. You know what I'm saying? At Drummer Boy Fresh, DrummerBoy.com, the website. Indeed, man. We can't believe it. Add, stream, download the new single, man. You know what I'm saying? The video out. Follow the YouTube channel, Drum Squad TV. Subscribe. Check out the uh, Still Can't Believe It video. 